hello guys welcome to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how to make a canadian smoking so we have different types of canadian smoking but i'll be teaching you one out of many types of canadian smoking so i have my pattern paper here for illustration purpose so i've gone ahead to create the vertical line and the horizontal line so making each grid or each box one inch so you could make use of one inch one and a half or two inches but just make sure that the distance between each boxes are of equal measurement so i'm going to start marking on this first line so now i'm going to go like this i'm going to leave this box here and i'll go to the next box which is this number three and i'll mark the same thing i'll leave this box here and i'll go to number five and mark the same thing i'll leave this box number six and do that to seven i'll leave this box here and mark number nine so what i'll be doing on this number two i'm going to leave this box here and i'll start from the next one and i'll be marking opposite of what i have on this line one so now on this line three i'm going to leave this i'm not going to mark on this line so i'll come over to line four so whatever i marked on line one i'm going to repeat it on this line four so whatever I did on line 2, I'm also going to repeat it on line 5. So I'm going to leave line 6 now and I'll come to line 7. So I'm going to repeat what I did in line 1 and line 4 back here. Here. Then I'm going to mark opposite of what I have here. I'm going to mark on line 8. So I'm going to leave this line 9 and I'm going to repeat the same thing to line 10 and 11. So once you're done, you should have something like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is to transfer it on my fabric. So I've gone ahead to transfer on my fabric. So when making your Canadian smoky, you need to determine the length and the width you want to work with. So once you determine the original length and width, you can multiply by two, by three, by four. You just determine how full you want it to be. So the next thing I'm going to do is to pick up my needle and thread. So I have my thread tied at this end like this. So I'm going to pick up from this first place and I'm going to go like this. And I'll go again. Then I'll come to this place and pick this place. Just like this. And I'll pull. I'm just going to pull so let me open it up so this is how it looks like so I picked from here and here and I pulled just like this so I'm going to secure this so that it doesn't lose in So I'm going to repeat the same thing on this line. So after pulling, we're going to secure Then one more time. So I'm going to cut the thread. So I'm going to finish this first line and show you the second line. So this is how the first line looks like. So now I'm going to move over to the second line. So I'm just going to pinch here, just like this. 
also to secure the thread and I'll do that again so now I'm going to take this part I'm going to pinch like this and I'll pull just like this so I'm going to secure twice so we need to make sure we secure tightly so that we don't have our thread loosening so I'll move over to this to the next box I'll pinch like this just to secure it then I'll pinch this and I'll pull just like this so you're going to have to secure and I'll repeat the same thing to this this and all through So now that I'm done with the two lines, I'm just going to leave this line and I'm going to start from here. So with this little one that I've done, let me show you how the front would look like. So this is the front part of it and see how beautiful. This is so lovely. So I'm going to continue with this and I'll show you how it looks like. I'm done and this is how the back looks like. It even looks so lovely. But I'll be showing you how the front looks like. So this is how the front looks like. So this is a braid pattern Canadian smoky it could be creative by adjusting to any direction so you, so you could use it like this you could place it like this or like this so just feel free and play along with your design a Canadian smoking could be used to achieve so many things you could use it for your sleeve you could also use it for your pillowcase you could use it for your throw pillow you could also use it to make a table mat you could use it to also make a pocket so guys i hope this video was helpful to someone out there please like share and subscribe